In this video, I'm going to take you through balancing the reaction for iron plus chlorine to make iron chloride. The first step is to look at what kinds of atoms are involved in this reaction. In this one, we have iron and chlorine. So I'm just going to list those two. The next step is to look at how many of each atom we have. Remember, when you're balancing a chemical equations, you're not worried about the number of molecules. You're trying to balance the number of each type of atom. So with iron, that one's pretty easy on the reactant side. There's no coefficient and there's no subscript, so there's just one iron. On the product side, we've got FeCl3. That 3 only affects the number of chlorines, so we also just have one iron on the product side. Now with chlorine, we start out with Cl2. So we've got a chlorine molecule that contains two chlorine atoms. So I'm going to go ahead and do two tally marks for chlorine. On the right side, that iron chloride molecule has three chlorines. So I'm going to do three tally marks. Now, when you are balancing equations, you're never going to change the subscripts only the coefficients. So now I have to start looking at which coefficients am I going to change to make the number of each type of atom even on both sides. I'm going to start by looking at the chlorines. I start out with an even number of chlorines, but I end up with an odd number. Whenever that happens, an easy trick is to multiply by 2. So now I have two of those iron chloride molecules. Each iron chloride molecule contains one iron. So if I have two of those molecules, I have two iron atoms. So I'll add a tally mark next to iron. Now, each of those iron chloride molecules has three chlorines. So now the number of chlorines I have is three atoms times two molecules to get a total of six chlorine atoms. All right, on the other side, Balancing the iron is going to be really easy. I can just stick a 2 in front of the iron. And now I've got two irons on both sides. To get chlorine, if I want to have six chlorine atoms, I can do that by putting a 3 right there. I've now got three of those chlorine molecules. And each molecule has two atoms in it. So I now have 3 times 2 chlorines, which is 6. And now this equation is balanced.